Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Neculescu and today we'll talk about new features on Confluence Connector and Jira Connector. So, let me tell you what is the main idea. You download Confluence Connector, you go to UiPad Go. Uh, on UiPad, Confluence, be sure that you have the latest version, which is 45 or something like this, yeah? 51. Good. What's the idea with the Confluence and Jira? Because it's the same, it's their boat on Atlassian. So, there are some people, some companies that instead of installing Jira and Confluence, uh, they, uh, instead of having the cloud version, they have this install on-prem. And this, it's an issue. Because when it's on-prem, you don't have the token API. Yeah? So, for this type of instances, you need to use a basic authentication using the user and the password. So the main difference between the old connector is that I, I include also a password for authentication. So what is the idea? In the past, you work only with user and token API to connect to the, um, to the Confluence system. Now, you can work also with user and password. So here it's mandatory to put user and you can put either password or token API. If you put both, the system will take the password first, yeah? And in my case, if I go here like this, the system say that it's invalid. So for the on-prem connection, you will have the, um, the possibility to connect now with basic identification with user and password. Good. Now, there are some connection on the... Um, so, the, <coughs> the idea is like this. Here you put your endpoint. If the endpoint is on the cloud, Jira and Confluence normally they stay on the same server. So, for example, we have UAPAT Atlassian.net, yeah? And we have both Jira and Confluence. To make a difference on the comments between Jira and Confluence, when you connect to Confluence, you will get a wiki. So you will have backslash wiki backslash the comments. If you have the Confluence on-prem, probably you don't have this wiki. So what's the idea? When you are connected on-prem, you put your user and the password. You put the endpoint, and then you will um, uh, you will test your connection. If your connection will not work, you will see without wiki, yeah. Because if I go like this, I have the the connection, and if I say without wiki, he will remove the wiki from the uh, from the system. Okay. Good. Now, there is another aspect. So I'm connected and I want to get the contact. This is the content, yeah? By default here, if I uh, um, run it, the system will provide me, so by default, he will run now the wiki REST API content, yeah? Here I have the information of the fields, but this tab will be dis is disabled. It's just information. What's the idea? The system return all the items that he find. Because there are different confluence, uh, um, there are different confluence instances and they are configurable, I prefer to return everything. And then inside of the data table, you will select what you need, yeah? Because here I don't have all the information to be able to, uh, to get all, the, um, all your fields, yeah? If I select something, for example, I go to space and I say that the, the space should be dev, the system will, will send a SQL uh, 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 command. And again, he will return all the items. You can make it bigger and uh, you will find everything, yeah? You will see everything. 
So that's the difference. He will return everything and you'll make an um, you'll make a filter on the data table. So this is just information is disabled this time. It's better to get the data like this and to be able to uh, to be able to work with any type of particular confluence um, systems. Okay? So that's the big change. For Jira, uh, the same. You have the, uh, so on Jira, if we open the project, you have this stuff with the password. So you can connect also to the system that are on-prem and system that are on-prem and uh, you don't have the token API. So, um, please contact me on the LinkedIn or um, go to my YouTube where you have a lot of videos about Salesforce service now and other stuff. You go to playlist and uh, you find here a playlist for Jira and Confluence. So contact me on the uh, LinkedIn and um, I will, um, I will update the connectors based on your particular case if you find any other particular case. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.